طيب بسم الله والحمد لله ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الله وعلى اله واصحابه ومن والاه طيب وقفنا عند الدرس الثامن عشرة so we've reached lesson 18 and in the past few lessons we've been doing covering plurals نعم so as a recap First of all, we've done plurals for aqil, or intellect. So for example, we have the word muslimun. Um, so muslimun, everybody knows the meaning. And when we convert it to a plural, we say muslimuna. Say Muslimuna. Jamil. So, can anybody tell me what this kind of plural, Muslimuna, Muhandisuna, Kafiruna, what do we call these types of plurals? Jam Can you hear us, Ustad? Anybody want to give me an answer? Can you hear us? So these plurals like Muslimun, Mu'minun. Anybody? Yeah, just Jam Mudakar. I'm oh, sorry, Jam Li Aqil. Oh, I don't think. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry. Okay, I was saying is jam li aqil. Yeah, we say it's jam li aqil. Yes, it's it's a plural for intellect, but there's a specific name for these plurals. Jam mudakkar salim. Naam. So jam, we call it jam mudakkar salim. So the plurals that end with just a wow and a noon. We call them Jem Madakir Sarim. We call them sound masculine plurals. And we mentioned before we call them sound masculine plurals. Why? Because within the plural we can still see the the mufrad, the singular word within the plural. So as a Muslimun, we can see the word Muslim, and all we add to it is a well and a noon. As you mentioned, like for example, Mudarrisun, we would say Mudarrisuna. Mu'minun, Mu'minuna. And then we have, for example, the word Muslimatun, which we know is Mu'annath, which is feminine. And then the Jam, the Plural, we say Muslimatun. Muslimatun. Um, and what do we call, so what would we call this type of plural? Muslimatun. Is it Jam wa Annaf Salim? Yeah, so it's the opposite of the one above. We call it Jam wa Annaf Salim, a sound feminine plural. And it's the same as the one above. We call it a sound feminine plural because we can still see the word Muslim in the plural. And all we do is add an alif and a ta. Muslimatun, Muslimatun. Mu'minatun, Mu'minatun. Mudarrisatun, Mudarrisatun. And then we had, uh, like for example, 
the word zamilun and the plural anybody give me the plural for zamil so is it zumala it's zumala naam zumala and what do we call these types of plurals is it jab taksir we call them jam taksir naam so literally we call them broken plurals literally or irregular plurals why because we can't see the singular within the plural well we can see some of the words but they're not it's not straightforward like the ones so these all all these jamr taksir in in the later books we will learn their patterns so it'll be easy for us to uh, work out the plurals now so today we will be covering so we've done uh, can anybody give me the word for singular other than uh, the young boy who's given all the answers what's the word for singular Your clue begins with the meme. Then a fair Mufrad. Mufradun. No, Mufrad. We say Mufrad is singular. And plural? Jam. We call it Jamun. No, Jamun. So in today's lesson, so we would say gem like three, so more than two. In today's lesson, we'll be doing what we call muthanna. Muthanna, which obviously is what? Two. Is jewel, now, which is two. So Mothanna is very easy. So for example, we have the word Kitabun. Kitabun Zaid Alif Wanun Yusawi equals Kitabani. Nam. So the the way we construct Mothanna, all we do we add to the end of the word is ani and it becomes kitabani so two books and the same for example the same with the ism ishara with the ism ishara we have for example we've done yeah, so uh, let's stay on this for a second so um if someone give me, we say the word, uh, sorry, Muslimun, then what would be Muthanna for Muslimun? Muslimun. Now, Jamie, let's see, we say Musli. So we would say Muslimani. Okay, uh, Muslimatun. Muslimatani. Muslimatani. So it's same for masculine and feminine. We say Muslimani, and then we would say Muslimatani. Kitab. So it's same for Aqil and Ghayru Aqil. Muslimatani. And then we have Qalamun. Anybody? Qalamani. 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 Obviously, and then we refer to them. We have the ism ishara. So we've done, for example, we've done hada. So, for example, hada kitabun. And then the plural of hada is what? Haula. Haulai. Naam. And then we've done hadihi, or feminine, mu'annath. And the plural of hadihi is what? Haulai. 
Ha'ulai Kadarik, same. And we've done uh, we've done Dharika. And the plural of Dharika is Ulaika. Ulaika. Naam. Ulaika. So those. And then we've done Tilka, which is that for feminine. And the plural again is Ula Ike again. Now, so we're looking now for the jewel of Hada. So all we do again, let's say, all we do, we have Hada Zaidun Alif Wanun Yusawi. Anybody? So we say Hadani. Hadani, Mithal, Kalamani. Hadani, Kalamani. These are two pens. And while we're here, we might as well do so. We have Hadihi, Zaidun, Alif Wunun, Ani, Yusawi. Hadani. Hatani. So we say Hatani. Slightly different. So Hatani. So we say, for example, Hatani Sayaratani. Hatani Sayaratani. Jayid. We do this in, I think, book two or three, but just for those who want to write it down and learn it, we'll just quickly do it. So the main thing we're going to be doing in this lesson is is uh, Hadani, and we're going to be doing Hatani. Um, so this is just something extra, Zaid. So Dharika. So we're going to do the Dharika. Does anybody know the, uh, the Muthanna for Dharika? We say the Nika. The Nika. And for Tilka, we say Tanika. So, for example, the Nika, Kitabani. And Tanika, for example, Muslimatani. Danika, Tanika. You rarely see these two used, Danika and Tanika. They're rarely used. Um, in fact, I don't think they're mentioned in the Quran. I'm not sure. I don't think they are. Danika and Tanika. Al Muhim, so what we're going to be doing today is just Muthanna. Uh, so we do we do mufthanna. So all we do we add alif and noon any to a word, and then it becomes mufthanna. Now, Jayid. Uh, okay, well I'll go for that another time. Something else I've thought of. So we'll start at darsu. الثالثة عشرة. Oh, sorry, الدرس الثاني عشرة. So let's have we have two people to read. Let's see who we got. So Abu Yusha, if you want to be al mudarrisu and let's have uh, Abu Yusuf, if you want to be. Uh, Yeah, you be Muhammad. And we'll have uh yeah, so, you, so Abu Yusha if you just be the mudarris and then Abu Yusha if you be everybody else, like the students. Kam Acha Kam Achan Kam Achan Lak Laka. Uh, ya Muhammadu. 
لي أخ واحد وكم أختان 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 لك لي أختاني كم عجلة لل 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 نعم للدراجة للدراجة يا حامد يا حامد دو أو دي يا حامد يا حامد نعم نعم لها أجل الثاني كم عيدا كم عيدا نعم كم عيدا كم عيدا في السنة في في السنة يا زكريا يا زكريا نعم في في سنة إيد إيداني هما إيد الفطر وإيد الأدهى يا إبراهيم أبوك تاجر كبير كم سيارتان كم سيارة كم سيارة عنده 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 سيارتان كبيرتان والسيارتان صغيرتان كم نافذتان في غر في 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 غرفك يا إسماعيل في غرفة في غرفة كي كا كا يا إسماعيل يا إسماعيل نعم فيها نافذتان لمن هداني الدفتران هما لي هما لي لمن هداني المس المستراتان المستراتان هما لي هما لي جميل طيب so we're going to be doing quite a few things in this lesson so also we're going to be doing in this lesson كم أخن نعم so and yeah, so what does kem mean? How many? So it means how many or or how much. Depends on how, how we use it, how much. Sorry, how much. Type so we can kem. So we're gonna do so this cam we say who are kem. Istifhamiya. Anybody remember what istifhamiya means? The one for questioning. Naam. So it's kem. Lil istifhamiya means it's the kem for questioning. Kem lil istifhamiya. Naam. And then. This word, Akhan, we call this Tamyiz. And the ruling of this Tamyiz or Kem, Anahu Daiman, Mufrad, Makhtum, Bil Elif, Illa al Isma, Illa al Isma, Ladi, Makhtum, Bitta, Ilmarbota. 
So the word that comes after chem, when we're asking people how much is this or how much is this, like for here, we're asking how many brothers. The ruling of this is that the thing that you are asking about, so here, for example, brothers, we wouldn't say, for example, kem ikhwan, dakeh. The ruling is that whatever we ask about, it always has to be singular. So we would say, kem akhan. And the word will always end with an alif. So for example, we say, kem akhan, kem kitaban, kem qalaman. So we, we, we can only use singular. We're not allowed to use uh, plural when we're asking about something or the, the, about the amount of something. Okay, is that clear? And if the word, so kem akhan, see they all end with an alif. Kem kitaban, kem qalaman, kem akhan. And if the word is feminine, so for example, the word sayyara, then it just ends with two fathas. We don't add an alif to it. We just say kem sayyaratan. So we would say, for example, does it always take fatha? Yes. So the tamiz will always take a fatha. We call this tamiz of kem. So the thing that we're asking about, or the, the, the number we're asking about, will always end with a fatha, or always end with the alif, except for obviously words that, that end with a ta which are usually feminine. Uh, we do have some exceptions, like for example, Allah mentions in the Quran, so, so he says, وَكَمْ مِنْ مَلَكٍ فِي So here we see that the min, which, which is a harf jar, has come in between these two and turned it into uh, kasras instead of kem malakan. We say kem min malakin. That's something different. Don't worry about that for now. Now, so when we use the kem, just to reiterate, when we use the kem, which is lil uh, istifhamiyya. Then the word that comes after it, what we're asking about, will always be singular. So if someone was to say, Kam aqlaman indaka, we'd like, no, that's incorrect. It should be Kam qalaman indaka. Now, uh, Abu Yusuf, why do we say Kam akhan laka and not Kam akhan indaka? Uh, because uh, akhan is a aqil, a living. Um, or it's a person with intellect, so we use laka. If, it, if it's non living, or it's an item, then we use in daka. Well done. If we can see that uh, further down, when he asks, Kem sayyaratan indahu, how many cars does he have? He didn't say, Kem sayyara lahu. So laka, we use it for humans, and inda is for objects. طيب, so he says, كم أخا لك يا محمد? How many brothers do you have, O oh Muhammad? لي أخ واحد. نعم. And it's not لي واحد أخ or لي واحد أخ. You will hear many Arabs say لي واحد واحد قلم. No, it's always قلم واحد. باب واحد. سيارة واحدة. طيب, so he says, وكم أختن لك نعم وكم أختن لك and how many sisters لك do you have he, يقول, he says لي أختاني نعم so here we have the jewel uh, مثنى 
نعم لي أختاني مثنى I have two sisters then he asks كم عجلة للدراجة يا حامد نعم كم عجلة which means wheel كم عجلة so here we clearly see because the word is feminine we don't add an alif to it just like uh, like we've done here كم أختن and here we have كم عجلة because this تا here in أختن it's not تا مربوطة it's not a closed or a تا it's open yes, we have the word أخت we say أخت that's not a تا مربوطة like this that's why it takes an alif it's an open تا so we say كم أختن نعم جيد كم عجلة للدراجة يا حامد نعم ما معنى هذا يا أبو يوشع uh, How many wheels are there on your bike uh, or Hamid نعم So it doesn't mention your bike so, كم, How many wheels does the bike have نعم يا حامد It says لها It has عجلتان كم؟ it has two wheels نعم then he asks كم عيدا في السنة يا زكريا ما معنى هذا كم عيدا how many eids are there in a year نعم so eid literally means celebration so كم عيدا في السنة يا زكريا how many eids are there in السنة the year يا زكريا he says في السنة عيدان هما نعم so we've done we've done هو which means what anybody he. it means he or it نعم and in one the last lesson we've done هم which means okay. they so in this lesson we'll be doing هما them two We've done this before in a previous lesson anyway. Huma, so they are, or those two are, Eid al-Fitri wa Eid al-Adha. So they are Eid al-Fitr in Ramadan and Eid al-Adha in Hajj. Al-Mudarrisu, Ya Ibrahimu, Abu Katajirun Kabirun. Naam. Abu Ka. تاجر كبير uh, عبد القيوم تاجر كبير what's the ruling of تاجر كبير what do we call them نعت ومنعوت منعوت ونعت نعم so تاجر is منعوت and كبير is نعت so we have نعم, the described and the description so تاجر is منعوت كبير نعت or صفة موصوف some people say it. كم سيارة عنده so your father is a how do we translate تاجر كبير big businessman he's a big businessman كم سيارة عنده how many cars does he have how many cars does he have so here clearly see we say عنده and not له كم سيارة عنده we can't say كم سيارة له how many cars does he have عنده سيارتان سيارتان كبيرتان so be منعوت النعت وسيارتان صغيرتان منعوت ونعت we have a متجر in our book oh yeah so that yeah you have what uh, Matjaran. Matjaran. So that's like uh, it's like shops or stores. Okay, yeah. So in some some of the newer books, it has the the word, the different word. So the point of this part is uh, to show that when the just like in plural, that the adjective has to follow. Uh, it has to follow. The, the, the gender and it has to follow the number. 
So we said, for example, Kitabun Wahidun, Kitabani, Ithnani. And then we say, uh, oh, yeah. So if we look, the adjective is also jewel as well. It's also Muthanna. We say, we don't say Sayyaratani, uh, Kabiratun. We say Kabiratani, or Sayyaratani, Sagiratani. So the adjective has to follow. Uh, has to be jewel also. كم نافذة في غرفتك يا إسماعيل طيب ما معنى الجملة إسماعيل answer this question كم نافذة uh, translate this كم نافذة في غرفتك يا إسماعيل is he here yeah he's here إسماعيل فضل I must be as half as deep. Anyone? كم نافذة في غرفتك يا إسماعيل؟ How many windows نعم. uh, are yeah. in your room, O Ismail? Yeah. So how many windows in your room, O Ismail? He says فيها فيها نافذتان. So in it فيها نافذتان. In it there are two windows. He says, "Liman hadan idaftarani." To whom belongs these two notebooks? Huma again. Huma li. Um, they belong to me. And he says, lastly, "Liman hatani al mistaratani." So here we have hatani. To whom are these? Who, who do these two rulers belong to? Liman hatani. المسطرتاني هما لي again هما لي نعم so everybody understand that if there any questions لا okay so again, in this lesson, we're doing Mothenna. So all we do uh, to make a word jewel is add a alif and noon. And kem, lil istifhamiya, how many, how much, the word that comes after it has to be singular. And if it's, and, uh, and usually if it's masculine, it ends with an alif. And if it ends with a term marbuta, then we just add two fathas. Then it's an alif with two fathas. It has to be singular and not plural. طيب. So we'll go through some of the exercises. Uh, usually so can, I, can, can I just ask one question? Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, we did the um, nat and manut yesterday with the plural. Same no. point. Because with the al bayu to jadidatun. Uh, that's not na'at wa man'ut. That's mubtada ba khabar. Yeah, but we, we, we could say buyutun jadidatun, yeah. But you have to follow the same pattern. So with the with the normally you have to follow the same pattern today. So if one is al, does the other one have to be al as well? Yeah, that's it. Al, uh, so we say al buyutu al jadidatu means the new houses. Okay. Al buyutu jadidatun. Okay, uh, Abu Yusuf. Yes. So what, what does al buyutu jadidatun mean? The new house. No. Listen to it. Al buyutu jadidatun. Uh, the new house is? No. Um, al buyutu. Let me write it for you. Is, is it the, the new houses? No. Al buyutu. Jadidatun. Well, the houses are new. The houses are new. Naam. Oh, okay. And we have, yeah, so then we have, uh, we have Buyutun. And then we have Jadidatun, which means uh, new houses. 
new houses now. And then we have Al Buyoto. Al Buyoto. Al Jadida too. The new houses is it? No, the new houses. Okay, I think I think that's what I'm getting mixed up with. I'm getting mixed up with these these three different. No, so these <laughs> these two here would be Manut and Nat, and this is just Mubtada and Khaba. Okay, okay. I think I need to be more practice on that. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So we have Tamarin Ajib Anil S Ilatil Atiati Mustamilan Al Muthana. So to answer the following questions using Mustamilan using Al Muthana. Muthana. So these can be just questions. These are just random questions. So we just want you to give your own answers. So say طيب like, Abdul Qayyum كم قلما عندك لي قلمان لا لا no, you can say yeah. no no what you were looking for كم قلما عندك so you would answer عندي قلماني عندي نعم قلماني عندي قلماني نعم أبو يوشع كم كتابا عندك؟ عندي كتابان عندي كتابان نعم وكبي عندك نعم عندي كتابان نعم أبو يوسف كم سبورة في فصلكم؟ Is it fi fiha or fi? You, say, you would say fihi or, or fi, fi. How, how, no, how do you answer plural? How do you say in our classroom? Fi fasli. Fi faslina. Or faslina. Oh, okay. Because it's asked you Kum, in yeah. plural. We must answer in plural. Fi faslina. Fi faslina sabura tani. نعم في فصلنا سبورتان ما معنى السبورة؟ is it a whiteboard؟ نعم or could be a blackboard oh, yeah. just like we say board these days board, okay. to, to escape any racism نحب <laughs> سبورة في فصلكم في فصلنا سبورتان نعم قاسم كم ريالا عندك الآن يا ليلى كم ريالا عندك الان يا ليلى عندي ريالان سيو سي عندي ريالان 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 نعم ما معنى السؤال ما معنى الجمله how many how many reals do you have so, uh, i have now, now I have Rindi Riel and I have two Riels, so Riels, this Saudi currency now. Um, Ismail, Ismail, uh, Ismail, Kem Ochten Laka Ya Aliyu. Yeah, that's Ismail. نعم إسماعيل كم أخت لك يا علي؟ أختان نعم لي أختاني نعم لي أختاني I have two sisters كم أخت لك يا علي؟ لي أختاني نعم and what do we call the uh, is عبيد عبيد موجود نعم عبيد كم عمّن لك يا آمنة؟ كم عمّن لك يا آمنة؟ سبي لي لي عماني لي عماني نعم لي عماني طيب so how many uncles do you have؟ يا آمنة لي عماني I have two uncles Nam, uh, who's the other boy? I think it's what's the other boy's name? 
الياس 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 طب كم صديقا لك يا محمد لي صديقان نعم سبي لي صديقان لي صديقان I don't have much space so كم صديقا هاماني نعم الياس ما معنى الجملة what does it mean how many friends do you have oh Muhammad نعم so how many friends do you have oh Muhammad لي صديقان I have two friends I have two friends أحسنت طيب كم طالبا جديدا في فصلكم أزان كم طالبا جديدا في فصلكم uh, لي في نعم فصلنا في فصلنا فصلنا جديداني طالباني Just say them in reverse. Li fi faslina talibani jadidani. You just said them the wrong way around. That's all. Cheat. Naam. Fi faslina talibani jadidani. Taib. Adhan. Ma ma'na al-jumla fi kem taliban jadidan fi faslikum? How many new students are in the classroom? Are in your classroom. Fi faslikum is plural. Nam jam are in your classroom. And he says fi faslina talibani jadidan. Nam in our classroom there are two new students. Taib Abdul Qayyum. Kam masjidan fi qariyatika ya Zakaria. Kam masjidan fi qariyatika ya Zakaria. Fi qariyatina. Jamil, so you'd say, fi, yeah, carry on. Masjidatani. La, la, masjid. Masjidani. Masjidani, bas. Naam. Fi qariyatina masjidani. Fi qariyatina masjidani. Naam. Ma ma'na al-jumla? Kam masjidan fi qariyatika ya Zakariya? How many mosques do you have in your village, O Zakaria? So how many uh, mosques are in your village, O Zakaria? Fi Qariyatina Masjidani. Um, Jayid. So can, can we say Qariyati? Fi Qariyati in my, in my village. You're actually right. We should say, because it's singular here, Fi Qariyati Ka. So we should say Fi Qariyati. That would be the correct answer. في قريتي مسجداني نعم في قريتي in my village well spotted أبو يوسف um, next one أبو يوسف كم فندقا كم فندقا في هذا الشارع uh, في ها oh. no, في هذا so it be uh, فيه Oh, fihi in it. Fihi fundukani. Nam fihi fundukani. Or we would start from here and we would say, Fiha the sherry fundukani. Nam. So, ma'am, and a jumla, fi kem fundukan, fiha the sherry. How many hotels are there uh, on this street? Nam. So, how many hotels are there on this street? Said, uh, is it Ilyas? Kem, kem akhan laki ya suadu? Uh, how many brothers do you have? Nam, al jaw, so what's the answer? Li akhawani. So we say, Li akhawani. Nam, Li akhawani. I have two brothers, so. So here he says, Al Akh Muthanna. It should be Muthanna Hu and not Muthanna Tu. Naam. Al Akhu Muthanna Hu, its jewel is Akhawani. So we don't say, why he's pointed this out? Because the singular is Akhun. 
and we don't just add an alif a noon. We don't just say akhani. We add the well. We say akhawani. We say akhawani, and the same with the word ab. Remember, we we done. Uh, we say akhuka, and we say abuka. We add a well. Anybody remember why? We don't, so we don't say akhuka, abuka. So the well is added to make it easier to say. And that they are from the Asma'ul Khams. So there are five uh, there are five words in the Arabic language which are like this. Just five. So, so here we say instead of saying akhani, we use the wow again, we say li akhawani. And we say li abawani. So we have the word now here. If you look at the top, we have the word walid. Naam. So ma ma'na walid? Boy, son. No, walid is, walid. is boy. He's a parent. Yeah, so walid literally means father. Oh. It's the same word as abun. Oh, subhan. And we say for we say walidani. So what does wordy Danny mean? Is it two fathers? It would literally mean two fathers, but when someone says wordy Danny, parents means mother and father. Okay. So that's why we hear the phrase a lot. Bir Birrul Wali Dain. Birrul Wali Daini. So Bir, which means like. Uh, good treatment of walidain of the two parents. Birrul walidain. Is that walidain different to walidani? Or is this just another way of writing it? Of course, it's different. <laughs> What's different about it? In it's, the first uh, one, we have an alif, and in the second one, we have a ya. Uh, no. no, and we'll get to that when we get to that, inshallah. Like, for example, people we have Muslimun, but then we hear it Muslimin. So what's the difference? There's no difference in the meaning, but there's a difference in the grammar. Now, okay. Muhammad, uh, Al-Qayyum. Um, walidun, walidun for father. Can you say for mother as well? No, mother would be Walidatun. Obviously, we just add a ta for the mother, Walida. So we say, Hada Walidi. This is my father. Wahadihi walidati. Al walida. Naam. And the reason why we say walidani, as we said, min babit taghlib, because in the Arabic language, masculine is, uh, I would say, more dominant over the, the feminine. Not, not for any. It gives, yeah, so as we said, it's not for any boastful. Uh, connotation or anything, that's just the way it is. Now, um, Jade, so now we have Tamreen Athani Iqra Waktub. So, all I want you to do is to read them and translate them. Now, um, so Abu Yusha. Khalidu. 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 Khalidun. Khalidun. Um. Laha. What is, I don't understand. Laha. Laha would be. Okay. La. <laughs> Just <laughs> la. <laughs> Lahu. 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 He has. Khalidun. Lahu. Uh, Ibnan. Ibnani. Ibnani. Wabintani. Wabintani. Khalidu, Khalidun, Lahubnani, Wabintani. Nam. Mamana Jumla? Khalid has uh, two boys and two girls. 
Um, two sons and two daughters, two boys, two girls. Now, uh, Elias. في هذا البيت غرفتان كبيرتان. نعم. في هذا البيت غرفتان كبيرتان. نعم. ما معنى الجملة? Uh, in this house there are two big rooms. نعم. In this house there are two big rooms. غرفتان كبيرتان. جميل. عبيد. فاطمة هذا طفلان فاطمة لها طفلان صغيران جميل so, فاطمة لها طفلان صغيران نعم ما معنى الجملة؟ فاطمة has two small children نعم فاطمة لها طفلان Sahirani. Fatima has two small children. So obviously here, Gurfatani, uh, Kibiratani, Tiflani, Sahirani, the Manut and Nat. Nam. Let's go. Abu Yusuf. Li Ainani, Wa Udnani, Wa Yadani, Wa Ridlani. Well, Wa Ridlani. Walhamdu. Walhamdulillah. Naam. So, li aynani wa udunani wa yadani wa rijlani walhamdulillah. Naam. Ma ma'na jumla? I have two eyes. And is udun two ears. Two ears, naam. And two hands. Naam. And two rijlani is a legs. And two legs, naam. Well, alhamdulillah, and all praise belongs to Allah. Um, so we, here now we, we understand the hadith that the Prophet said. Uh, if you can work this hadith out. Sorry. Naam. So this hadith, the Prophet said, what? Al udunani min al ratsi. Naam. What does it mean? The hairs are from the face, or belong to the face, or part of the face. Face, face is wedge. Is it the head? The head, sorry. Naam. So the two ears are from the head. Naam. In what context did he say this? About the wudu. About the wudu. Naam. So when in the ayah, when Allah says, "Famsahu uh, biru'usikum," and wipe your heads, when in the ayah in Surah Maida describing the wudu, and the Prophet described it, uh, and he says, "Wal udunan min al rats," and the two ears are from your head, are from the head. الأذنان من الرأس نعم جيد من إسماعيل تفضل في هذا الحي مدرس مدرس تاني نعم مدرس تاني نعم في هذا الحي Madrasatani. In this, so hay is usually it's like an area or a district. Um, so in this area, Madrasatani. Nam. Smile. Two schools. There are two schools now. Jaid, uh, Adhan. Salatul Fajri Rak'atani. Jameel. Salatul Fajri Rak'atani. Salatul Fajri Rak'atani. Jaid, ma ma'na jumla? Fajr has two rak'ats. Naam. Fajr has two rak'ats. Naam. 
جيد صلاة الفجر ركعتان جميل and then he always, the Prophet said ركعتا sorry ركعت الفجر That's terrible writing. Rak'at al-fajr khayrun min al-dunya wa ma fiha. As he said, khayrun min al-dunya wa ma fiha. Has anybody worked this out? The two that are fajr is better than was in the dunya and was in it. Naam. So the rak'at al-fajri. So here, what's missing from rak'at here? The noon. Because when 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 the word uh, is muthanna jul, when it's mudaf, we take away the noon. This is just a quick point. We take away the noon because it's mudaf. Because we can't say rak'atan al-fajri. We say rak'at al-fajri. Khairun, so Rak'at al-Fajri, two Rak'at al-Fajr, i.e. the Sunnas, Khairun, are better min dunya than the whole of this world, walladhi fiha, and that which is in it. Wa ma fiha. Naam, jayid. Man ma'ana aydan. Who else is here that hasn't read? That usually reads. Naam, Ubaid. Not Ubaid, Qasim, Akhu. Uh, Lil Baiti um, Miftahani Miftahani Naam Lil Baiti Miftahani Naam Maman Al Jumla The house has two keys Naam The house has two keys Naam Lil Baiti Miftahani The house has Miftahani, two keys. Naam. Ubaid. Liman hatani bakratani huma huma lil huma lil fallahi. Naam. Liman hatani bakratani. هما للفلاحي نعم ما معنى الجملة؟ Who do these two cows belong to? They belong. They belong to who? To the farmer. نعم. Who do these two cows belong to? هما للفلاحي. They belong to the farmer. هما للفلاحي. نعم. أبو يوسف. هذاني لا أهذاني أهذاني أطبيباني من إنجلترا من إنجلترا نعم إنجلترا لا هما من فرنسيا من فرنسيا من فرنسا من فرنسا من فرنسا أهذاني الطبيباني من إنجلترا لا هما من فرنسا uh, are these two doctors from England? No, they are from France. Jayid. From Taz. Obeyed. No, not obeyed. Uh, let's have Azan. Masjidani Sagirani. في ها في في قرية مسجداني صغيراني نعم. جملة. What قرية؟ قرية قرية village قرية. In my village there are two small masjids. نعم. In my village there are two small mosques. Two small masjids. جميل. So من الأول we say خالد Lahubnani Wabintani Fi Hadal Baiti Gurfatani Kabiratani 
فاطمة لها طفلان صغيران لي عينان وأذنان ويدان ورجلان والحمد لله في هذا الحي مدرستان صلاة الفجر ركعتان للبيت مفتاحان لمن هاتان البقرتان هما للفلاح من الأسبع كان سنام أهذان الطبيبان من إنكلترا لا هما من فرنسا في قرية مسجدان صغيران نعم جميل so let me see how much is Okay, so I'll just do I'll just do one more exercise and then we'll stop. طيب التمرين الثالث third exercise قال اقرأ الأمثلة الآتية ثم ضع في الفراغ فيما يلي تمييزا لكم وضبط أواخره. So what he's asking is read the following examples and then Put in the blank spaces a tamiz for kem. So a, a word that goes after kem, basically. What, and then put the tashkil on the word. So for example, here we have the word ukhtan. So we say kem ukhtan laka or laki. Kem qalaman indaka or indaki. Kem sayyaratan fil jami'ati. So we have to put a word in the blank spaces. So the way to get the word is to look at the context, kem, and then indaka. So we'll start with the, as usual, Abu Yusha. So, no, no, no. Oh, Turk Fulus. Dar Fulus fi Jabik. Kem. Um Bayut no 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 it's wrong um Kam Baitan and Baitan Mumtaz Kam Baitan Nam he said Buyut which is the plural but you stopped why because it's wrong and why is it wrong? Why didn't you use buyut? Why did you say bait? Because so, when you're asking, uh, when you're asking, kam, uh, uh, yeah, then you have to use the singular. Jayid, Montaz. Kam baitan indaka. Jayid. How many hairs did you have? Abu Yusuf, uh, same one. What else could you put in here? So we say kam kalaman. Yes, the mic was off. Kam kalaman. Indaka. Yes, yeah, so you say Kem Kalaman Indaka, Kem Kuratan Indaka, Kem Bakaratan Indaka, Kem Hisan and Indaka, Kem Mindilan, Kem Fundakan. Now, next one, uh, Elias, Kem Farag Laka or Laki. Kem Achan Laka. Now, so you say Kem Achan Laka. Or you can say Kem Amman, Kem Uchtan, Kem Ammatan, Kem Khalan, Kem Khalatan. So as long as it's human, because of Leka, Nam. So Kem Achan Leka. How many brothers do you have? Nam. Rubaid. Kem Farag fi Hada Shari'i. كم سيارة في هذا الشارع؟ نعم ممتاز كم سيارة في هذه في هذا الشارع؟ How many cars in the street؟ جيد قاسم كم فراغ في قريتك أو في قريتك؟ كم بيت في قريتك؟ Mm, okay, we've used the word bait. Let's go for something else. 
كم بقرة في قريتك؟ كم بقرة؟ Okay, how many cows in your village? Or is it كم مسجدا؟ كم مدرسة؟ كم بقرة في قريتك أو في قريتك؟ كم جملا؟ جيد. Uh, أزان كم فراغ في فصلكم؟ كم طالبا؟ ممتاز كم طالبا؟ كم طالب؟ نعم. What else could you ask? Boards we can use here. كم سبورة in Arabic what else? Anybody? كتابا. كم كتابا في فصلكم؟ مدرسا. كم مدرسا في فصلكم؟ نافذة. كم نافذة في فصلكم؟ كم مكتبة؟ كم مكتبا؟ كم مكتبا في فصلكم؟ كرسيا. كم كرسيا في فصلكم؟ جيد. آه جميل. آه إسماعيل كم فراغ في السنة؟ كم يوم؟ نعم كم so we can say كم يوما في السنة how many days or we can say كم what else كم شهرا what else كم أسبوعا كم أسبوعا how many weeks كم عيدا كم عيدا نعم كم عيدا كم يوما كم شهرا كم أسبوعا كم or oh, we could say كم ساعة؟ how many hours؟ وكم دقيقة؟ how many minutes؟ جيد. Uh, كم next one؟ كم فراغ للدراجة؟ so who hasn't read؟ if you want to read, just put your hand up. it's fine. or else I won't know you're here or you want to read. نعم. أبو يوشع again. كم Forgot the word for wheel. No. Why don't you scroll up? I can't. <laughs> you don't have the book. I'm looking at the screen. It's easier. Okay. Anybody help him out? Kem ajalatan. No. Kem ajalatan. Ajala. Kem ajalatan lidarajati. No. Abu Yusha, ma'am, ana jumla. How many wheels? How many wheels does the bike have? Now, the last one, Ubaid. Kem fi ghurfatika or ghurfatiki? Kem nafidatan fi ghurfatiki. Now, kem nafidatan. What else could we say? Anybody? Sariran. Kem sariran. Yep. Baban. Kem baban fi ghurfatika. Now. Yusizadatan. Huh? I didn't hear you right. Okay, what else? Kim Kursiya. Kursiya. Taib. Jade, uh, we'll stop there. Halmin uh, Suel, any questions about what we've done? I know we've done quite a bit, but the main focus is on Muthanna, is on Jewel. And all we do, we add alif and anun to a word to make it muthanna, and we do the ism ishara hadani, and then we do kam lil istifham for questioning, and then the tamiz of kam it always has to be singular, ending with an alif, except for the word that has a ta marbuta. Any questions? Uh, tomorrow. I will send you all a uh, a file, which is like, as I mentioned, like a test. It's not like a test. It's, it's like a worksheet to go through and, then, and see. And then we'll go through it on, uh, on the Monday. To, and then you can check how much you got right. So it's just going to have a large text containing all the rules that we've studied. 
and I want you to put all of the fathas, kasras, and dhammas in the right places. Um, and then underline certain rules, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, any questions? So if there's no questions, that means everybody understood the lesson. So we'll stop for the 10 minutes and then we'll carry on with our next lesson, which is Qira'a, the book of Qira'a, reading or expression for another 10 or 15 minutes. Now, Ismail, what's your question? And you know, we just done a lesson for two. Yeah, we will. Is there a lesson for like every other number? Yeah, we've done that already and that's plural. Oh. <laughs> No. So we've done Mufrad, Muthanna and Jem. We've done now we've done singular, dual and plural. Jade. Taib. Uh, so we'll resume with the other book in about ten so let's say half past eleven.